Hey guys, quick update. <clears throat> I was gonna do this video a lot sooner, but COVID kind of threw a wrench in a lot of things. I hope, um, I hoped I would have hit 30,000 miles by now, but as you can see, I'm only at 28.5. And while the weather's nice, I thought I could uh, show you, uh, you know, a cold start, a warm start, and all that stuff, and kind of give you an update of what's it been like for the last uh, two years owning this 2018 RS3. Now, I'm probably a lot different than a lot of YouTubers out there. They're all showcasing their mods and all this stuff. Mine is completely stock. And the reason it's been stock, I mean, from a ECU perspective, you know, it's so easy to add the software. It's silly. Uh, it's silly not to do it. But I found myself um, pretty uh, pleased with what it had to offer stock. Um, I've driven a Stage 2. I've... Uh, had the pleasure you know on ethanol too it's amazing and the acceleration is mind-boggling but anyway i don't want to digress too much but i just want to give you like a quick you know overview of what's it been like issues you know uh quirks I i'm a father of three so does this car work really with the family and you know all these things like I, without a doubt it's probably been you know one of the better cars i've owned probably the best as i've said before um, I like it. I like it a lot. So, issues. Well, the infotainment is probably the biggest issue. Um, and then the second issue I came up with was the seatbelt uh, pressure switch. It kept going off for no reason. Um, so, 28,000 miles, two issues. Um, I drive it the way it's meant to be driven. You know, it's my daily. I drive it in the winter. I drive it in the summer. You know, I go to Chicago with it. I mean, it's a car you can cruise with. I mean, when I initially purchased it, I got it in West Virginia, and I live in Minnesota. So, you know, its voyage was a 1,000 miles, and I had the pleasure of changing one of those stock Pirellis um, within the first 1,000 miles. But overall, the, the, the quality of the car is there. The performance is there. The, the sound, the, you know, does it fit the lifestyle of... Uh, you know, a parent, it does, definitely does. Uh, the three kids fit in here just fine. Now, it's a tight squeeze, I'm going to be honest. But if you have two car seats, you know, and, um, you know, a bigger kid, if you have boosters, whatnot, it, it, it does it all. But, um, I, you know, I'll be honest, uh, I don't see myself getting rid of it for a long time. Even if I add something to the stable, you know, I, I, I feel like... I couldn't get rid of it. I, I was gonna, uh, you know, get the RS6, but then the price, then the availability, and all those other things kind of swayed me to wait. I mean, if I own the car at some point, I will, but I'm suffering in an RS3, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, yeah, the, the car's been flawless. Uh, the, anybody on the fence, you know, a lot of the people that get the RS3 usually come from the VW scene, they own Golf Rs. GTIs, you know, even other Audis, I guess, S3s, S4s, and is the leap worth it? The, you know, the 20 grand leap from an S3 to an RS3, I mean, it's all personal preference. To me, it is, but, you know, somebody would argue that you can get an S3 as fast as uh, an RS3, but, you know, to me, it's it's worth every penny, and I'm glad I, I, I got to uh, enjoy it for this long 30,000 miles I hope to keep it until at least 100 but if anything change you know life happens so you never know what what you might get or what what other car might uh, fancy your interest there's a few others that I'd like to try but you know as I said father of three the finances are not really what they should be right uh, buying all these expensive cars but not to get into the uh, personal stuff but yeah, I just wanted to also show you the um, warm start. So I drove the car from my house. I'm parked in front of a Costco um, and I've, I have the radio turned off. Let me turn off the, the AC. All right, so here it is. Stock car. And that's a D. And you can hear the rev change when you put it in S in sport and I I drove this thing in dynamic 99.99% of its life I don't I don't think you should drive it in D or comfort or in any of those modes because it's just too 
good at being quiet, you know. But as I said before, I, I've uh, the only modifications I've made so far are the secondary catholites, which are just a bunch of pipes in my garage. But other than that, that's it. And boy, does it sound glorious, right? with the DSG you know the, the ZF is, is a great transmission but the DSG is where it's at sorry about the wind noise but I just want you guys to hear the acoustics of the exhaust <laughs> 